Hey folks, Roy here. Uh, I want to share with you something that happened to my V2 Mirage drive from my Revo, my Hobie Revo. Son and I were out, son's in the Revo, and he hollers out, we got about a half mile left to get back to where we launched. He said, Dad, the drive is broke. So I go over and lo and behold, this is what happened. So the cable pulled right out of the chain ferrule union here. Now, on all of these chains, they're, they are just a mechanical, um, it's just a mechanical connection. Uh, it's a roll crimp on this ferrule onto this stainless braided cable. That's all it is. And of course, uh, I posted on the uh, forums and, 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 you know, I asked, hey, you know, what's what's up with this? I mean, why, why is it just a mechanical uh, connection? Why didn't you also uh, weld it, uh, specifically braze or solder it in this case would be more ideal uh, with a quality tin silver solder? For strength. Um, now Matt Miller responded and, and, and he's very active on the forums, Hobie guy, um, employee. And uh, he says, hey, this is very uncommon, which is good to know. Uh, and also it's looking like a defect. So, you know, this could be a warranty uh, claim. And I think, well, that's great. You know, <laughs> this is an older V2 drive. Um, I will get back with him on that. Uh, nonetheless, I'm going to try to repair this. And that's what this video is for. Uh, in case anyone else runs into this, if they want to attempt this. Now, this was disconnected, and I could not insert it back into the ferrule at all. Um, so, I had to use a 1 8 inch drill bit, drill this out, okay? Even then, it was still a little too tight, so I used this diamond Dremel bit here to ream it out further, okay? You'll also see that I put a 16 inch hole all the way through. That's gonna be for access with this silver solder and what I'm gonna do after uh, putting it all back together. So now, now it fits in, but you really have to hold and pinch on the braided cable to insert it into the ferrule and also twist at the same time so you don't get any of those um, uh, cable wires uh, bent back. But it will go in there. The key is once you get it set in there, you want it the same attitude the same attitude. See the bend there going around the drum? So you don't want it a different attitude. That makes sense, right? Otherwise, you're going to stress relax it in a, in a different direction and it's going to feel weird and probably put additional stress on the, uh, on the cable. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to clean this all up with acetone. I've got this silver solder kit here with a uh, liquid acid flux and, of course, the uh, very thin diameter silver solder. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do just clean this all up, like I said, acetone. Put the flux all on the uh, cable, all on the inside here, nice and good. Twist this in here and set it in there at the right attitude, okay? Then I'm going to come in with th this crimping uh, tool here for insulated um, uh, electrical uh, butt splices. There's, well, non-insulated and insulated. I'm going to use this non-insulated um, portion of it. And I'm going to come in here just like this, right on the edge there. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to go back too far. Right on the edge, put it on the, uh, put it on the vise, ping it with a hammer. Bam! I'm going to get a good mechanical crimp there, right on the, right on the end of the ferrule. Now it's all, it's all prepped. It's clean, has flux. Then I'm going to use this micro torch. I'm also going to wrap this in with a wet cloth hoping that I don't heat this cable too much because I don't think it takes a lot of heat for this silver solder and I'm going to concentrate I'm going to concentrate this flame I don't know if it's got any butane in it it doesn't have any more butane but it's a nice flame nice concentrated flame right here right right up here so it's going to want to wick towards the heat okay so i want all of this area of this braid here i know you guys aren't seeing this here i'm sorry it's a narrow uh, angle on the lens but it, anyway so i'll get the mechanical crimp and the silver solder brazed in there i'm also going to prior i forgot to mention this i've got some raytheon marine heat shrink i'm going to take a short section you know three quarter inch slide it over this that way when this is all done and cleaned up if any of this is melted here on this end 
I'm going to cover this whole union with that Raytheon Marine heat shrink. So it'll seal it, keep the elements out of that union and all of that, and it should be a good repair. Now, that's the first part of this video. Tomorrow, I will go through with the repair. And one final note, some of you might be thinking, hey, Bray, or uh, tin, you need to tin the cable. Yeah, that would make it flow better once it's in there. But the problem is if I tin the cable as is, it's stress relaxed and uh, frayed outward. It'll never insert into this ferrule opening. That's why you have to hold on to this and, and tightly twist it and get it nice and tight to be able to insert it into that ferrule. That's the problem with doing that. So I'm not going to do that. Anyway, next step is the actual... Uh, um, brazing part so it'll be after I set everything and crimp and then I'll uh, do the brazing and it'll be ad hoc you know there won't be any uh, previous test to see how it works or not I'm just going to record it and make it make it happen hopefully fingers crossed it works all right here goes wish me luck all right real quick here I forgot to mention this is a voiceover after the fact uh, that uh AC aluminum tape uh, is wrapped around the sheathing and it has a wet cotton ball inside of it to wick the heat away. Okay, here's the finished product. I'm pretty satisfied. I got good flow inside the holes up around the uh, area where it inserts into the uh, uh, ferrule. There was flow. Um, I could have gone a little more aggressive because the uh, sheath was not damaged at all, really. Um, but again, I did a mechanical uh, crimp on the uh, very end and with this uh, silver bearing solder. It's lead free, so it's mostly tin. It's like 5% uh, silver. Um, I think this is going to be a permanent, uh, permanent repair. Kind of wish... Uh, Hobie would go the extra length in doing that, but I guess if it's a, such a rare failure, then they don't need to do that. But, you know, I guess if I was making my own custom kayak, I would go uh, the whole nine yards. I do have that uh, marine heat shrink choked up here. I'm going to uh, push it up as far as I can there, heat that up. That'll keep that union from uh, getting any elements in it. But, uh, hey, if this lasts for another... Uh, year and a half or so I'll be happy and folks there's the uh, final step heat shrink applied again it's got a uh, sealant on the inside of that heat shrink it's marine heat shrink and we'll see how it works put this all back together thanks for watching